There's been a lot of great shoes that have released in 2023 so far, a lot of good ones that I could consider potentially my favorite of the year. However, these right here, man, these are just my favorite pickup so far. Might be my number one once all is said and done. And yes, I know that we got like six months to go, so anything can happen, but these are just lovely. <laughs> Yo, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on the Jordan Airship PE in what's being called white and tech gray, even though on the box here, it actually says that it's Summit White and Gunsmoke. So the Gunsmoke is supposed to be the dark color, I believe, or it could actually be the lighter color. I'm not sure. But anyways, these guys right here are releasing tomorrow. It was one of those weird, like, I'm surprised these are coming out right now because we just heard about them like right now. But anyways, this guy right here, I'm just really surprised with mainly because the entire overall package is just phenomenal and yes all of them have been like there hasn't been one bad airship PE in my opinion I think that every pair has had really good materials uh, most of them have been great craftsmanship or build quality they all have the same exact tech specs and everything so we're not getting any variations there but this one right here the leather itself is just a little bit softer than the other pairs that I have and for that reason alone I'm just so in love even though it's not the only reason the main reason is actually I like this grandpa look, man. I think that it suits my style. Matches my beard. What? You like my shirt? Well, thank you. Release information should be right over here. Make sure that you pay attention because there are no restocks. Once these are sold, that's it. You can follow Sense Apparel. You can go over there right now to senseapparel.com and sign up for the newsletter where it will give you a reminder just before the launch. I did change the garment style. So this is more of a vintage style tee and they're basically what I wear all the time, like all of my comic shirts. But these things that you see me wear on a regular basis are from our friends over at White Gold Industries and I love their garment choice. I literally get the same color. Like I think I have like a closet full of just black shirts and I just really love how they wear, I uh, love how they fit and I really like how they wash because they don't change at all. They're pre-faded, pre-shrunk. The way that it looks and fits, that's the way that it'll look and fit forever. So it's just my favorite thing. So I switched up the garment style. Usually we, we use like more of a heavy duty and jet black and all that stuff. Not this time. I think it matches the aesthetic though. It's vintage feeling. But anyways, this is the Jordan Airship PE in Again, white and gun smoke. And again, I think that they're fantastic. So what we actually have here is the greatest traction of all time. If you don't know about the story about the airship, I highly recommend going to mjo23dan's YouTube page. He's got a video explaining everything, how essentially this was the one before the one. And yes, stuff like this, like this history, little nugget or whatever was omitted in the movie Air, which is unfortunate, but I get it. They streamlined the out of it. While it wasn't 110% accurate, it was still a fun watch. But anyways, this was the one before the one and the reason why they look like this is because they actually modified certain pairs for Jordan himself, which is why these are called the Airship PEs, because it was a PE made specifically for MJ. The actual retail pair of the, the shoe was actually something completely different. However, they come with this awesome booklet. Every, every colorway has, by the way, so this is awesome. You open it up, it gives you a little basic info about the shoe. They talk about the tech specs and everything, so like I said, you can see the greatest traction of all time right there. And then the original version looked like this. So this was originally the model itself was supposed supposed to be a kind of like lighter weight follow-up to the Nike Air Force One and the airship was supposed to be for smaller players or guards or somebody that wanted to be just a little bit more nimble on their feet. MJ wanted to take a step further. He didn't like the original tooling, hence we have what we now know as the Air Jordan 1 tooling on there, so that's why that's there. But again, highly recommend checking out MJO23 Dan's video. I think he has an article that's still up on soulcollector.com. Go educate yourself on the shoe and the real history behind the, the band thing because it's not what marketing was. It was it wasn't actually this shoe, it was this shoe. Now again, the Air Jordan 1 tooling is featured on here. So we basically, we got a rubber cut sole. This is the same tooling that you'll see on the 85 version of the Air Jordan 1s. The only difference is the uh, the outsole right there. That little guy right there, just a little bit of a different shape, but outside of that, same exact stuff. Now inside of that cup sole is a polyurethane wedge. Inside of the polyurethane wedge is an encapsulated air sole unit. And all of that stuff is fine and dandy, but the real winner here is the insole. Look at this beefcake of an insole, man. This thing is awesome. This is all polyurethane, everything. Thing. It's not that dream cell stuff. It's not that fake dream cell stuff. It's not ortholite. It's PU the way that it should be. Now, again, the materials on this thing are just, I don't want to say that they're nicer because honestly, it's the same type of cut. It's the only difference between this and the previous airship PEs that I have. I have the yellow ones. I've got the green ones. I got the, uh, the orange. 
Oh yes, the orange ones, thank you. But anyways, all of those have kind of like a shinier polyurethane coating on top of the leather. This one is just more flat and it also feels way softer. I don't know if it's thinner. I just know that when you look at it, man, like you can just see all the texture in there. And then if you press on a little bit, it just starts to wrinkle. And yeah, that's a good sign. But anyways, I just love the way that this stuff feels on foot. The other pairs that I have do need a little bit of break in time. They start off a little stiff. So a little bit different compared to say an Air Jordan 1 OG High, where those ones, especially recently, been coming out with some really soft leathers and so they just kind of feel broken in right from the jump this is made more like back in the 80s and everything maybe maybe 85 i don't know this is an 84 shoe but still that type of stuff is just you got to break it in you know what i mean the thicker materials more quality or better quality higher quality not by much but just a little bit and again when they have the the softer polyurethane coat on there it just requires less break in time and they just feel a lot better like right out the box one of the things that i absolutely love about the airship pe's though is this four foot strap or it's not a strap but just this overlay and underneath it is that full bungee v-cut right there it's on both sides so these guys right here are wide foot friendly we have plenty of discord members that are wide foot friendly and they let me know on a regular basis bro thank you for letting me know by the way you can grab these on wednesday june 7th so if you live where we live, which is the Sacramento and Elk Grove area, make sure that you head over to Phenom because they're gonna have these. I don't know how they're gonna release them, so make sure that you follow them on social at Phenom916. If you are not in this area and maybe you're over like closer on the East Coast, they have two Minnesota locations, so you could follow Phenom Global and see how they're gonna launch them because they're all different. Sometimes it's first come, first serve. Sometimes they wait till midday and then they're like, now you guys can come in. So they wanna make everything kind of like special and everything like that, which I appreciate as the retailer itself. However, as the brand, I still Still complain because I think that these should be available at like Full Locker Champs, all that stuff. You should be able to just walk into a store, pick these up off the shelf, see how nice they are, and then decide to buy them. Speaking of nice, the suede, beautiful dude. Like I absolutely love suede. Uh, I feel like it looks elegant and luxurious, so I really like it. It's kind of like a rougher hair too, so it's not super short haired or anything. Like these guys, these guys almost feel like sandpaper in comparison to this. One thing that they changed between some of the pairs is actually the branding on the back. So this one says Nike Air. Because it's on suede, they're not putting the uh, screen print look on there. And instead, they actually stitched on there and everything. I do believe that the originals might have been leather, but don't quote me on that because I, I don't actually remember. Now, as far as the sizing is concerned, I would recommend going true to size. I think that they fit perfectly. Again, they have that little bungee thing in the forefoot area, so it will accommodate most wide footers. Obviously, if you've got a super wide foot, you'll probably want to go up half a size. But with all that being said, I just love these, so there's not much else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Oh, wait, there is one more thing to say. They come with extra laces. So yeah, it's the dark gray color instead of the light gray. This might actually look good with more of a cream lace because they are kind of like vintage looking by themselves. So if you have something like that, maybe you can swap them in there. But anyways, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Again, if you want this shirt, uh, just pay attention. Release info is right here. Just make sure that you don't miss out because we are not going to restock, I promise you. But with all that being said, we appreciate all you guys' support. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Or actually, no, we won't. We don't upload on Wednesdays. We do the performance reviews when they're available on Wednesdays. We'll see you on Thursday. So until then, have a good one.